Okay, so on this one, they want us to simplify this uh, square root problem. So let me bring it over here. Uh, 48 x to the 8th, y to the 11. So the, uh, notice there's no, there's no number in the hook. So that means there's really an invisible two. It's actually the only invisible two. It means a square root. It's a two for one deal, right? If they don't put anything in the hook, it means it's a two for one deal, which means there's really a two there. We don't need to write in the two or anything. We just know it's a two for one deal. That's, that's why we say square root. I don't know if you ever thought about that. What's this called? X two'd? No, we call that X squared. See, square means two, doesn't it? So we're, therefore, my point is when we're calling this a square root, do you realize you're saying two root? That's what you're saying. Square means two. What's the, what's the word for three in math? Cube, right? So when you say cube, you're saying three. When you say square, you're saying two. So all along, when we call this a square root, we've been saying two root. You probably never stayed up late at night thinking about that, right? When I say square root, I'm really saying two root. No, again, that's what the weird math teachers do. But that is what we're doing. So it's no surprise, it's a two for one deal. It's a two root, it's a square root, right? All right, anyway, back to the problem. So now um, break down that 48. Use your calculator if you're rusty on some of these times tables. Two times three, two times four, two times two. Notice I underline things when they can't go down any further. Okay, so uh, what do we have now? We have uh, the 48, which is how many twos here? One, two, three, four twos. Actually, you know, let, me, let me bring that down just a little further. We have a little more room down here. Okay, so again, we have one, two, three, four twos, four twos, and a three. So I broke down the 48, four twos in here. Be careful there. Make sure you don't drop anything. Okay, now what about the X's? Well, there's eight of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, right? X to the eight. And what about the Y's? Well, there's um, 11 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Now you don't have to do this. I'm gonna give you a shortcut when we're done. But I just wanna show you the whole long version, see what's true, and then we'll jump to the shortcut afterwards. So that's, that's like everything inside that root, right? The 48 all broken down, all the X's, all the Y's. Okay, now what is it? It's a two for one deal. Remember we're shopping at Target, things are on sale two for one. So two twos inside, one two outside, and they're out of the store. Two more twos inside, another two outside. And they're out of the store. The three has to stay because there's not two of them. What do you do with the X's? Exactly the same thing. Two for one deal. Two X's, two X's, two X's, two X's. So we have one, two, three, four coming out, huh? Well, well I'm kind of messing this up now. Let me, let me do this more carefully. So there's... There's one, two, three, four coming out, right? It's two for one deal. Now for the Y's. What's going to happen for the Y's? The same thing. Two for one deal. Two Y's, two Y's, two Y's, two Y's, two Y's. Each of those is going to ship out a Y because it's a two for one deal. So do you see the shortcut now? What could we do to save time here without writing on all these X's and all these Y's and all this monkey business? Cut the powers in half. And when they're odd, just make it Y to the 10th with one more Y and cut the 10 in half. That makes sense? Yeah, because it's two for one. If you go to Target, things are on sale two for one, you're gonna buy 10 things, you're gonna pay for five, aren't you? Right? So when they, when they tell us in the beginning, we don't need to write all this out now that we've seen the truth. Say eight X's, I'm going to pay for four. And then 11 Y's, well, that's 10 and one more. So I'm going to pay for five. And the other one has to stay inside because there's not two of them. Does that make sense? You have an odd amount. Just do the even and one more and then cut the even in half. So when all is said and all is done, what comes out? Two times two, four. And how many X's? X to the fourth, right? Because we put the power in a half, the eight, half of eight is four. Y to the fifth, because you know, 11 is 10 and one, half of 10 is five. And what is left on the inside? A three, don't forget the three. 
and a y. And so there we go. There's a three left over and a y left over inside. Now they're asking you for a and b on this problem. So um, the a is all this. This is your a. It's what's outside. And this is your b. It's what's inside, right? They say, give it in the form a root b, give the outside, give the inside, a is the outside, b is the inside. There we go.